Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to show you how to create this flower pendant with the prong set right in the middle with the Rhino 3D software. Are you ready? Let's get started. We are going to bring in the stone and size it up for whatever size is going to fit your design. In my case, I'm going to do something roughly about five millimeter. After that, we want to uh, work on the prong first. So I'm going to draw a line coming over here. And if that is too taper, I might want to go a little bit straight there. Okay. All right. So we're simply going to pipe this one. So let's go ahead to using the pipe command and coming over for roughly about one millimeter size there so i now have this prong i'm going to uh having a six pedal later on so i'm going to make it into six prong by polar array and the number is six here and we will get something like this so now we have prong and we wanted to make sure that it is sitting on something so i'm going to go with the three point and snipping somewhere, not snapping, but going somewhere about here and coming down something like this. All right. So I may also want to tilt it a little bit, just follow, you know, the shape of that. All right. So now we have that maybe a little bit wider. We want to use the command under the surface. You have revolve and snapping into the zero, hold the shift and we want 360 degree. So now you can see we have a button there. All right. So let me temporarily just group them together just in case we might need to change something, the prompt position or something like that. And let me change this into the cyan color. All right, so now we have this, we wanted to work on the pedal. So the way I'm going to work on the pedal is I need to create an overall shape first. So again, I'm going to use a rectangle, call it corners, snapping in center for the zero here. And for the pedal, it's about, depends on how big you want them to be. So I'm roughly one half, something like this and coming down something a little bit rounded. All right, so this will be the shape and let me temporarily to hide the setting in the middle so it's easier for you to see. Now I'm going to draw a curve starting from the end point over here, holding the shift, this is super important. The first one you wanna make sure that you go up, right? And then we're gonna coming over here and pass the center point there. And we wanna draw a straight line snapping into the zero and make sure that this one can turn it off this one. Now we need to creating the surface. So the way we are going to create the surface, it's going to be rail revolve and you're gonna pick up its profile. This is rail and we wanna go from here and going down or going up, either one will work. So then we will have this surface. All right, if you feel like this is too much of an angle, you might need to adjust the uh, curve that you have uh, if you want it to be less angled than this profile. So now we have this one. Let's go ahead to draw a straight line and this line need to pass the shape of what you have there. And let me turning this into the red color so it's easier for you to see. All right, so then I'm going to have a six pedal so i'm going to using the polar array snapping into the zero and instead of six i need to have 12 of them for something like that okay so before we project i would like to actually rotate this uh, 15 degree so that way my pedal one of the pedal will be right at 12 o'clock and let's go ahead to project this one to this surface and we also want to make a new layer. Let me bring them to that layer and also change the color to something we can separate them for green one. Okay. So now we don't need everything else, but those line here. All right. So I would like to design the pedal. Um, I'm going to draw on the side. My pedal is going to coming up 
and something like this and kind of dip it in and coming back on the back I want them to be nice and rounded so something like that okay and then we want to move this one to this place so we are going to come into the transform and we have the oriented to point and make sure we want to copy and the scale is 3d and we want to snap in um, into any of the near point maybe somewhere about here coming over here and we want to snap in here to here here to here this one to this one and maybe we just gonna work on three of them and it will just mirror to the bottom so instead of doing a bunch of them okay and um, if I turn it back to see my stone so the pedal doesn't have to go all the way to the middle and so I'm going to um, just creating a circle and somewhere about here as long as it is uh, inside of that stone so that will be fine so we are going to trim it everything in the middle so now we have this in order to making the surface we are going to use the sweep to rail this is rail one rail two and cross section okay so notice that um, the thickness is changing too it's, it's because the rail is coming together so it is thickness is changing as well and we want to maintain high here so we'll maintain a good thickness it's much better for the casting okay so that is one there and I'm going to continue with the sweep to rail this one and another one over here so now I have this uh, we need to deal in with the bottom for the bottom I like it nice and round here so if we just cap this one and then we're using the filler edges and it will be something like that even though you say you want to have a bigger fitted edges let's try uh, maybe 0.6 millimeter that might still be okay but I really like it to be super puffy so here's what I'm going to do let's go back one step and I'm going to kind of hiding this one so it's easier for you to see in fact let's change to darker green color all right, so this one is going to be split by this curve and this curve. So now it becomes two of them. And uh, I'm going to uh, making an arc snapping into, snapping into the midpoint here and midpoint there. And coming over to my right view, hold the shift. So then you got this really nice bump there. To making the surface, we want to use a sweep to rail and you want to go from this point to this arc back to this point so then we will have a puffy one over there okay so now we have this puffy one if we go back and turn on our render view you should see them going smoothly it's almost like no gap there okay and so double check if that worked for you you're gonna do the same to this one or that one or we can do an easy way by using the same command we used earlier for orient to point and I want to pick up this one orient from this point to this point and uh, make sure you want to copy and scale 3d and we want to go to this point to this point and again this point to this point let's go ahead to pick up all of them and join together okay so double make sure that they do join um, and we want to use the command cap on all three of them so they are closed solid poly surface so that's what we're looking for and we do want to have them uh, mirror to the other side so that's using the mirror uh, snapping into the zero and then so we'll have that there okay let's create another layer here and I'm going to change this layer into the red color and so what we wanted to do for the small petal you can you can create exactly process again 
or you simply can making a copy to this new layer. I would like to have them rotate it 30 degree and make them smaller. All right, so I'm a little bit lazy on that, but that worked for me. And then we'll have something like this. Turn back to uh, for the stone that we have and make sure your stone is in the right position. And all you need to do is have another bell. So when you finish, they will look something like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to know more about the stone setting, I have a stone setting mini course specific design for the beginner. It's starting with the stone setting concept and we will do a demo for the prong set. And I will also show you how to custom a prong set head. Check out the link at the description below. It's completely free for you. So hope to see you there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.